fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Stagecoach drivers and the armed guards who rode beside them faced many dangers on the rough trails of the early western United States. Outlaws and renegade Indians filled every trip with the threat of sudden death. And it was not until the masked rider of the plains brought law and order to the lawless frontier that travel became safe. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver, the Lone Ranger. Rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Black Goat! Travel's waiting on the trail ahead! I am Silver! Away! famous masked rider of justice raced into the secret camp he shared with his faithful Indian companion, Tonto. Oh, hold this, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Tonto, quick. Saddle up. No trouble. The stage was held up. Oh, that bad. Here's Scout. The driver was murdered and the passengers robbed. Uh, who do it? No one knows. Oh. Passengers were too frightened to tell clear stories. Some claim the bandit was alone. Others claim there were two outlaws. One of the women swears he saw an entire gang. Uh, where it happened? Just this side of Bald Rock. We go there now? Right. The stage just reached town. When I left, the sheriff was getting ready to ride out with a posse. Uh. But I want to get there before the posse spoils any signs that might have been left on the scene. Ready, Kimo uh, Me ready. Then come on. Hurry. Come up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Come on, old fellow. Come on. <laughs> The sheriff and his posse were not yet in sight when the masked man and Tonto reached the place where the holdup had occurred. They looked for any clues that the bandit or bandits might have left behind and finally stopped beside a clump of trees about a dozen yards from the trail. Oh, oh, Silver, oh, Scott, oh, fellow. Well, this must be where they hid until the stage came into sight, Tonto. It's the only place that would give them cover. Uh, not right. We can be sure that there were two of them. You find any sign of any more than that? Oh, uh, at all. I look here. Huh? What you find? Look at the bark on this tree, Kimasabi. This is where they waited. The horse is rubbed up against this trunk. Ah, uh. the sorrel horse. See the color of the hair that was caught in the bark? Oh, me see. Two bandits. One of them riding a sorrel horse. When the holdup was finished, they rode off toward the south. Ah, uh. they must have planned to reach the desert and lose their trail there. Ah, uh. I think. Listen. Many horse come. The posse. Uh. Into the saddle, Tonto. We'd better be getting out of here before they come inside. Or they'll be thinking we did it. Uh. it now where go? <clears throat> Those fellows were heading for the desert. I'm afraid they've got too much of a start on us to catch them before they can reach it. Uh. The 
at least we'll make sure that's the way they went. Come on, sir. Get him up, sir. Oh, fellow. Hurry. Several miles to the north of Black Gulch, Tom Martin, Bart Hurley, and Bart's young son, Bobby, made their home in a small cabin. Bart and Tom worked a claim nearby, and they were not only partners, but friends of long standing, although Bart was some 20 years older than Tom. On the evening of the holdup, the two men were alone in the cabin. Bart seemed nervous, and Tom wondered what was wrong with him. Say, Bart. Well? Come here a minute, huh? What do you want? You in trouble of some kind, Bart. Huh? What gave you that fool notion? <laughs> well, gosh, the way you've been mooning around since you got back from town, anybody else would think the same. Well, I ain't. Shucks, you needn't snap at me. <laughs> I just asked because we're partners. You know doggone well if there was trouble, I'd do what I could, don't you? Huh. <laughs> oh, I get it. The grub I fixed tonight ain't setting so good with you, huh? <laughs> well, ain't nobody to blame but yourself. You ought to know by this time I ain't no cook. I ain't in trouble and I ain't feeling bad. I wish you'd quit being so nosy and just leave me alone. Hey, now, I'm Bart. getting sick and tired of you asking me fool questions all the time. Can't you leave a feller be? You have to keep picking at me when you know I want to be left alone? Oh, say, Bart. Gee, I'm sorry. I'm such an idiot, I just didn't realize. Ah, uh, forget it. But I... Well, sounds like we're going to have company. Somebody just rode up. You don't figure it's Bobby and he's got homesick visiting them friends of his, do you? Say, by thunder, Bart, there is something wrong with you. You're just as white as a goat. Oh, well, I... No, Bobby wouldn't knock. Come in. Oh, howdy, Sheriff. Step in. Evening. Sit down. Well, we you were... was right, Bart. I looked where you told me, and I found a part of it anyhow. Uh, you did? What are you talking yeah. about? Yeah. Don't know where the rest of it is, but I'll make him talk. Say, I'd uh, like... Sure, you'll find it. Hey, now, hold on a second. Is this some kind of a secret between you? Ain't nobody supposed to talk to me. Recognize this, Tom? Huh? Take a close look. Oh, watch, huh? Nope, never seen it before. Ain't seen this neither, I suppose. Well, doggone a wallet. Somebody lose that somewheres? Ain't there a name in it? You ought to know. Huh? Tom, there's no use you're trying to look innocent. I got you dead to rights. Hice your hands. Why? Be quick about it before I blast you to glory. Sheriff, you're out of your head. Yeah? Well, that ain't going to prevent me jailing you. What in thunder fur? For holding up the stage today, killing the driver and robbing the passengers. This here's part of the loot. What's that? And you'll hang as sure as there's justice in this county. Well, you're, you're clean loco. Bart, did you hear what he's accusing me of? You ever hear anything so crazy? Bart, say something. You know I never held up no stage. I was at the mine all day long. Tell the sheriff so. Bart, what's the matter? Tom, there's no use bluffing. But, Sheriff... And as I... for trying to get Bart to give you an alibi, it ain't no use. It was him that turned you in. What? He told how you sneaked away from the mine today and come back without explaining where you'd been. He told how he followed you afterwards and seen you hide some of your loot where I found this. Bart's a law-abiding fella, and even though you're partners, he had to let me know. Tom, the game's up. Bart. Hold out your hands and I'll put these cuffs on them. Bart, answer me. Hold out your hands like I said. Shut up. I ain't gonna try and get away, but neither am I leaving with you till Bart explains this. Bart. Scared to look me in the eye? Well, I... Uh... You rotten, low-down coyote. Yeah, quit that kind of talk. Yeah, well, make me. He knows he's lying. Look at him, Sheriff. Just look at him. He ain't even got the gumption to look this way. You and him have been friends for a long time. Sure, it's hard for him to look at you. Anybody'd be busted up to find out they've been friends with a crook. You got anybody else's word against me but his? Nope, and with this evidence, I don't need it. Besides, in this case, one man's word will go a long ways. Everybody knows that Bart had never turned you in unless you was out and out guilty. Guilty? <laughs> Bart, the sheriff's going to take me to jail. I, I didn't want to turn you in, Tom. But when I heard about you killing the stage driver... You I, polecat. It was just my duty. So you framed me. Well, Bart, while I'm in jail, I want you to be thinking some things over. I wish you could... I want you to sit here and recollect how I sat beside your bed and took care of you for 60 hours straight without a wink of sleep. That time the doc said you was dying. Listen, Tom, And then I... I want you to remember how I went in the mine alone after Bobby. That time the shaft caved in. I want you to sit here remembering all the favors we've done each other and all you owe me. I and I hope those memories drive you crazy for doing a dirty stunt like this. Come on. 
Get moving. We've got a ways to go. The next day, Tonto brought word to the Lone Ranger of Tom Martin's arrest. And Tonto, what time last night was Tom arrested? It three hour after sundown. Tonto, don't you see what that means? What that? Tom's telling the truth. Bart is lying. Tom couldn't possibly be one of the guilty men. Why do you say that? We followed their trail. We saw where they'd entered the desert. Uh Uh-huh. We made sure they had not turned back again. That right. Then how could Tom, if he'd been one of the bandits, cross the desert, circle town, then be back at his cabin again by the time the sheriff found him there? Oh, you not think of that. The sheriff didn't know any better because he and his men missed the bandit's trail. Uh Uh-huh. I don't know how that wallet and watch got where the sheriff found it. But I do know absolutely that the bandits crossed the desert. Therefore, Tom could not be one of them. Why, Bart, not tell truth? That's a strange part of this, oh. and the worst part for Tom. It's so well known that he and Bart had been the best of friends for years that anyone who didn't have the facts we possess would never suspect Bart had framed Tom. Not right. But Bart, him not Bannett either. No. If Tom isn't, he isn't. The same facts apply to both of them. Oh. But I'll wager Bart knows who the bandits are, and we're going to get to the bottom of this. Here, Silver. Call Scout, Hunter. Oh. Here, Scout. Did you say Bart was in town? Uh, him at the cafe. Yep. That's where we're heading. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Pick him up. As Tonto had told the masked man, Bart Hurley was in the cafe at Black Gulch. For more than an hour, he sat alone at a table. Finally, two rough-looking men entered the place, and when they saw Bart, they went to his table and sat down. Bart seemed to have been expecting the men. Uh, Howdy, Bart. Hi. Fellas, listen. Careful. But I got to know. Shut up. You start to talking about what you shouldn't, and there's no telling who might hear enough to begin getting suspicious. Act like we were just friends. Try to smile a little. Get that sour look off your face. Think I can help how I look? You don't oh, talk. go easy on him, Spike. Reckon this is pretty hard for the fellow to take. But he's got sense. He knows what's good for him. He ain't spilling anything. By Thunder Red, he'd better not. Bart, look while there's nobody around. Huh? You find that wallet and watch where we left it for you after the holdup? You plant that where it'd be found? Sure I did. Ain't you heard none of the talk? Just that you turned Tom in. I went there after the posse'd left. I picked him up and hustled back to the claim and buried him by some brush. And I told the sheriff that's where I'd seen Tom hiding something. <laughs> that was a right slick idea of yours, Red. It'd give us the chance to lose anybody fallen by crossing the desert while still fixing it so there'd be evidence to use against Bart's partner. <laughs> Keep your fool voice down. Sure, Red, sure. I'm being careful. What I want to know, fellas, is what you're doing. You know just what we want you to know, when we want you to. But you got to tell me... So far, you've done all right. But this won't be finished till Tom's had his trial and been hanged. Then me and Spike will be safe. And we'll keep our part of the bargain. You'd better. We will. So between now and then, you watch your step. Don't say anything but what you've told the sheriff already. Stick to that same story at the trial. And after that... Your worries will be over. Well, I... What in thunder is this? Tonto, keep everybody covered. Tonto, do I... This isn't a hold-up. But the first man who reaches for a gun gets blasted. Bart. Put in blazes. He's coming here. Why, he... Bart, don't... I want you. What are you... Come along. Let go. Hey, let's leave. Hey, you can't... Oh, yeah, follow me, Tonto. Let me go. No one's to leave the cafe. We'll be looking for anyone who sticks his head outside this door before we're gone. Hurry, Tonto. Uh, the saddle with you. Get him up, sit down. Come on, Silver. I'll Silver. Away. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. After they had returned to camp, the Lone Ranger shot question after question at Bart Hurley. At the end of an hour, the prospector had reached the limit of his endurance. Bart, why did you lie? I didn't. I didn't. Where did you get that evidence you planted against Tom? I didn't plant it. He put it there himself. I seen him do it. You lied. No, no. What's behind it? I swear I told the truth. Were you paid to lie? Are you afraid of someone? Did you want revenge? And Tom done something to you that you hated him for? He was my best friend. Exactly, and you betrayed him. Stop it, stop it. You've sold him out. He's going to hang. Maybe he won't. Maybe they'll let him go. With your story against him, not a chance. He'll die. And you'll be his murderer just the same as if you'd shot him in the back. Stop it. I can't stand it. Stop it, please, please. Not until you've told me the truth. No, no. Then you admit you haven't. I didn't say that. I didn't mean it. Then what do you mean? I don't know. I don't know. You're getting me all mixed up. You're twisting things. Oh, please. When I finish with you, Tonto will start. When he's finished, I'll try my hand again. You won't get any rest. You'll not get a chance to think of more lies. You'll tell the truth that we have to beat it out of you. Stop it. Stop it. Why did you betray your friend? No, no, no. Why? Why? Wait. I'll talk. I, I can't go on. That's better. Now out with it. You, you've got me half crazy. Out with it. I had to do it. Had to send your friend to jail for murder? I had no choice. Why not? My, my boy. Yes? They stole him. Hid him away. Said I'd never see him again if I didn't do what they told me. So that's why you did it. It is. You can't blame me. I've been half crazy. I, oh, I wish I was dead. I think more of Tom than I do myself. If it had just been me, I had to consider I'd never have done it. Who forced you into this? I can't tell you. You told me enough so that you might as well tell me the rest of it. Who was it? Oh, no. You can't make me tell that. There's no law what they do if they found out I... Well, it isn't necessary, Bart. I'll have to confess I've tricked you. What? I've known more about this from the very first than I let you know. You won't tell me their names. I'll tell them to you. Huh? You mean to say you knew all the time that Red... Red. Red Morgan and his partner Spike Jenks. Those are the men. You were with them at the cafe. You fooled me. You didn't know. You made me tell. Under the circumstances, Bart, I was justified. I tell you... Wait. But I... Bart, listen to me. Yeah. You don't know who Tonto and I are, and it doesn't matter. As long as you believe that we're on your side. I realize the situation you're in, and we'll help you. With your boy there prisoner, I don't know that anyone could blame you for what you've done. Nobody could. But Tom can't be permitted to pay for your son's release. I won't testify again, them crooks. I won't. Even you can't make me. And I don't intend to try. Huh? Go back to town. Explain this in any way you think best. Say that I mistook you for someone else, or that I'm an old enemy of yours, and you made your escape. Tell any story you wish. But don't let anyone know what's really happened here. As if I would. Do that, Bart, and I'll make you a promise. Yeah? Your boy will be returned safely. Tom will be cleared, and Red and Spike will be brought to justice without harm to anyone but them. You mean that? I do. Stranger, if that comes about, I'll thank you on my knees. I give you my word. I'll thank you on my knees. Tonto obeyed the masked man's orders and took Bart to the edge of town. The miner hurried to the sheriff's office at once. Bart! By golly, we've been looking everywhere for you. That mask... It was just a mistake, Sheriff. He thought I'd done something to a friend of his that I hadn't. When he learned the truth, he let me go. But, Sheriff... Uh, forget about him for now, Sheriff. Do me a favor, will you? Why, sure. What do you want? And let me talk to Tom. Huh? And just for a couple of minutes. Don't forget, Sheriff, in spite of what's happened, I can't forget that him and me were partners for a good many years. Why, well, that's all right, I guess. Can't guarantee he'll be glad to see you, of course. You know where he's locked up. Just walk on back. Thanks. Call on me if he tries to make trouble. No, he won't. Tom. Who are you? Tom, I, I want to talk to you. Get out of here. Leave me be. Hey, Tom, wait. I no, never I... want to see you again as long as you live. And I hope every day of your life you remember and suffer for what you've done to me. Tom, won't you listen for just a second? Make it short, then vamoose. Your trial is coming up day after tomorrow. That ain't news. Sure, but, but I want to help you. You help me? <laughs> That's a good one. What have you been feeding on, loco weed? Tom, I meant just what I said. I know you've been saving all your cash... Hoping someday to have enough to buy yourself a little ranch somewhere and settle down on it. Well, I, I don't want you to touch it. Leave it in the bank. 
You need a good lawyer, but I'll pay what he costs. Huh? And I can't do no less than that, Tom. I'll pay any amount. And it wouldn't surprise me none if a real slick lawyer like Clemens over to Cactus City could get you off. Get out. But I tell you... You sneaking, hypocritical snake. I wouldn't touch a penny of your cash, even if I knew it'd get me free. I wouldn't let you pay for anything if it was all that stood between me and being hung inside the next minute. Tom, listen Shut to up. I'd be ashamed. If your cash got me out of here, I, I'd feel like, like I'd done something so low down mean I'd never be able to look anybody in the eye again. I'd plumb hate myself. I tell you... And I... either you get out of here right Wait, now, no, or I... I'll call the sheriff and have him throw you out. All right, Tom. I'll go. I'm sorry it has to be this way. Sorrier than I can tell you. Goodbye, Tom. Polecat. We couldn't help but hear a part of what Tom said, Bart. It's tough. I can savvy how you feel. Thanks, Sheriff. I'd sure hate to have to find out that a partner of mine, say Spike here, was a crook and a killer. I reckon I'd be feeling mighty bad. <laughs> Fred, what are you and Spike doing here? I uh, just come to ask the sheriff how the case was going. Whether he found anything more against Martin is all. Well, Sheriff, see you some other time. Sure. Coming, Bart? What do you want? Sure he is. Bart, we'll buy you a drink over the cafe. You look as though you need it. You can tell us all about that mask, fella. Come along. Huh? Good day, Sheriff. Goodbye. Bye, Bye Sheriff. <laughs> Bart, I have to hand it to you. Yeah? What for? Shucks, you got more sense than we ever figured you had. Gosh, you should join up with us regular. You got a hand on your shoulders. He sure has. <laughs> I don't savvy this. What's so funny? <laughs> Why, are you offering to pay for a lawyer for Tom? That's a good one. You don't mean to think that I... I think it was just about the smartest move you ever made. And we're giving you credit for it. <laughs> Tom's got friends in town, sure. But who's going to suspicion you'd lie in court to get him <laughs> when you still feel friendly enough towards him to pay for a lawyer? <laughs> Bob, what made you think of a move like that? <laughs> now, hold on a second. But what oh, what's you... the matter? I'm going to tell you fellas something. Yeah? You've got me where I can't make a move. But there's such a thing as friendship, whether you know it or not. Tom hates me. Well, I don't blame him. If I was in his boots, I'd do the same. But don't get no wrong notions. What are you talking about? I didn't offer Tom the use of my cash just to be smart. I meant every word I said to him in there. He could have everything I've got. Even every, every last fella in town was like you and thought there was a trick behind it. I have to take your orders, yeah. But I'll be doggone if I have to be like you. I'll tell you that now. Hey, ain't you talking kind of big? Don't get mealy mouth with us. We know what you was up to. Why, you... Oh, oh, what the... You... You hit me. And if you want more, get up on your feet again. You and if you've got a notion you're going to scare me, just recollect this. You got my boy. But any time I want, all I have to do is open my mouth and you'll find yourselves in jail. <laughs> The courtroom was crowded when Tom Martin was brought from the jail to face trial. The case had aroused a tremendous amount of interest, and the elderly judge had difficulty in keeping order. Quiet, quiet down, or I'll clear the court. Quiet, quiet. Taylor, throw that man out. One by one, those passengers who were on the stage when his driver was killed took the stand to tell their stories. The sheriff told at last of Bart's visit to his office, accusing Tom that length... Bart himself was called to the witness chair. He was pale and nervous, and his eyes avoided those of the man he was there to accuse, Tom Martin. Bart, I'm going to ask you a number of questions. And when you answer, I want you to remember that you've sworn to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I, I will. Good. Now then, you say that on the day of the holdup, Tom Martin left the mine without explaining his absence... And was gone for the greater part of the day? Oh, I... I... Uh, well? Uh, I... Uh, there, you see? He don't dare go on with his lies after he's sworn to oath. He don't dare. Just look at him. Silence in this courtroom. Sheriff, see that the prisoner doesn't make another disturbance. It's disgraceful. Shut down, Tom. Shut, Shut down. down. Maybe now we can go on with this. Bart, 
I'm still waiting for you to answer my question. Well, it, it was like this. On that day, I... Bart, tell the truth. Bobby, come on in here. Bart, Bobby! The masked man's found him. I will tell the truth. Sheriff grabbed them fellas right there. Red and Spike. Grab them. Let the crooks hell up the stage and kill the driver. They made me lie about Tom by holding Bobby prisoner. You squealer. You won't get us. Stand aside. Drop those guns, Red. Masked man. I don't see Bobby. Where is he? Wait. Did you hear the sheriff drop those guns? You're the one that found the kid? Then I'll take you first of all. Don't shoot, don't shoot. I have dropped my iron. Now tell where the boy is. Hey, you mean to say you ain't found him? I didn't claim that I did. You thought I was speaking to him and jumped to the conclusion he was free. I had to do it, Bart. It was the only way to get the truth out of you here in front of witnesses. We'll make them fellows talk. Leave him. They got Bart Young and hid away. Don't let him get us. We'll talk. He's in the banker's house. We hid him there because the banker's out of town. We knew nobody would dare go in it. Keep him back. The boy's all right. We ain't harmed him. Tonto, that's just behind the courthouse. Go after him. Bring him here. Uh, Sheriff, you got to let Tom go. You can't hold him now. Jail me for lying if you want to, but Tom ain't guilty of nothing. Tom's free to go any time. But you can scarcely punish Bart for what he did, Sheriff. For the safety of a boy of yours had been involved, I think you might have done the same. I ain't got no notion of punishing him. My golly, you think I ain't got no heart at all? Bart, here, here, Tom. Why didn't you tell me what had happened to Bobby? Why didn't you let me know why you had to do this? Did you think I couldn't understand? Tom, I... Just didn't feel I could take the chance. Sure, I reckon I savvy. And you're forgiving me for what I've done? Shucks, ain't nothing to forgive. We're still partners? Sure thing you know. We... Aye. There comes Bobby in the engine. Go on, Bart. I know how you feel. Partner. There's Bobby. Tom, I... Bobby! Bobby! Son! If Bobby testifies against Red and Spike and says there the fellas locked him up, we got the skunks dead to rights. Hey, now where's the mask man and the engine? Well, they've cleared out. Bart, where's the mask? That's them. I promised to thank them, and they wouldn't wait. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.